welcome to an episode of the New England Aquarium Food Network. Today, we will be teaching all of you how we prepare a feeding slurry for our grouper or blue hole exhibit. This is a simple three ingredient recipe, but you will need to use your hands, so please make sure you are properly washed and disinfected. First, let's start with a healthy pinch of capelin fish eggs that will provide the base of our slurry. These capelin eggs are actually taken from pregnant females we receive in our frozen capelin supply. Next, we will add close to half a cup of baby brine shrimp, a small crustacean which we culture up on the fifth floor in our live food room. Observe as our chef firmly pinches the eggs to mix them with the baby brine. Don't be afraid to really get your hands dirty here. It's important to make the consistency of the slurry as even as possible. We don't want to disappoint our customers. The next ingredient will be another healthy pinch of Calafin, which is a mixture of calanoid copepods sourced from a West Coast aquaculture company. Copepods are zooplankton or animal plankton, and they are a primary food source for animals like baleen whales. To top things off, another healthy pour of baby brine shrimp, followed by vigorous stirring to even out the slurry. Notice the deep orange color, which indicates a perfectly prepared slurry. Now comes the true test of any slurry. Do the customers, in this case, fish that eat smaller food items, respond well? Presentation is important, so make sure to present your slurry in an area of the restaurant or tank that is a comfortable feeding location for all that will be eating. Feel free to compliment your slurry with an amuse-bouche, in this case, some chopped up shrimp. And I think we can tell by the activity of our customers, again, fish, that our slurry is a big success. Bon appetit!